Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl Alan here with another upload. So, for today, what I will be doing is giving you guys a few employers that you guys can reach out to for the upcoming season. And I will also be doing a brief overview of the HUB program. The reason for this overview is basically to answer the questions that you guys have been asking. I'm not going to go through every questions, but I'm going to run through just a few because I've already done a video where some of these questions were already answered. So I'm just going to run through and then I'm going to drop the employers. So let's get right into it. And guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, and share with a friend. With all that said, let's get into it. Let's go. So what is the H2B program? So the H2B program is basically a foreign worker program. You can call it the guest worker program. So guest worker programs authorize the employment of foreign workers by U.S. employer for a temporary period with a non-immigrant visa. So non-immigrant visas are temporary. So the visa holder must depart the state by a certain date. All right. All right. So the next question is, what are the top occupations? under which persons are employed so based on research the top occupations are housekeepers landscapers or ground keepers uh meat and fish processors construction laborers restaurant workers such as cook and wait staff servers yeah next question how long can an employer be employed for so migrant workers who are issued H2B visa, they can be employed for up to nine months, but their employment period can be extended to up to three years, or the visa may be initially certified for up to three years if it is considered a one-time occurrence. So what is the H2B visa cap? All right, so this one now. So there is a limit on the number of applicants who may be issued H2B visa or otherwise grant H2B status during a fiscal year. Currently, the H2B cap is set at 66,000 per year. However, unused H2B numbers for one fiscal year do not carry over onto the next year. So once the H2B cap is reached, USCIS may only accept applicants or petitions from H2B workers who are exempt from the H2B cap. Next, where do workers receive their visas? All right, so foreign workers will have to apply for an H2B visa after the approval from USCIS. So they should apply to the U.S. Department of state at a u.s consulate or embassy within their country to seek permission of entry into the usa and that is how they will actually get the h2b visa upon approval what is the age limit for the h2b program all right so i'm gonna give an age range so usually it's from 18 to 50 however it really depends on the employer because the employer might state that okay we're looking for applicants or workers between the ages of 20 to 35. We want people between the ages of 25 to 50. So it really depends on the employer, but the age range is 18 to 50 years old. Next question, do I need an agency? Do I need to apply through an agency for an age to the job? I think I answered this question already, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it again. For some employers, you do need to apply via an agency, while for some employers, 
you can apply direct as they do direct hiring. So not every employee uses an agency. However, there are a lot of employers out there that uses an agency. But the thing is to find these employers that really do not require you going through an agency to get employed with them. So what I suggest is just basically reaching out to the employers and they will let you know if okay we really do not handle the processing of h2b for ourselves we go through an agency you can ask them which agency that is or they will tell you okay we do the recruitment for ourselves and we are hiring and that is how you will know which employers really work with an agency from those who do not work with an agency where can i find h2b job postings okay for that one for h2b job postings you can visit indeed however indeed jobs tend to be a bit late but indeed is a good source you can also go to glass door there is also cool works there is also usa dol i can basically just go to google and type in h2b jobs and then you'll probably get a listing right then and there and you can start the application process next question is which agencies are the best to apply to in jamaica for our h2b job the ministry of labor they usually have like a list of approved agencies however this list tends to change like every two months so what you guys can do is visit the website the ministry of labor website for jamaica like every two months just to see the changes as some agencies are added on while some are pulled from the list and knowing that some of these agencies really do not have any employment for you guys what they're gonna do is charge your consultation fee and a registration fee and have you waiting when really and truly they do not have any employment but what i did i went to the u.s website and these are the agencies for jamaica that are on the u.s website if there are persons here from another country and you'd like for me to drop the list for your country please comment and i will do so in the comment section answering your question okay all right, so these are the agencies that I saw for Jamaica on the U.S. website, guys. There was EJAM, Cape Cod Workers, Skilled Staffing Solution, EIRAS, Florida East Coast Services, Agency for Cultural Exchange, Snow Work and Travel, J&H Recruiting Agency, Sunrise Employment Agency, Admiral Services, Saltis International Consulting, New Adventure Employment Agency, JTP Agency, Faith Placement Services, Exuberance Overseas Placement Agency, Max J Employment Services, Island Plus Multi Services, and Flex. Okay, guys? Yeah next question which state has the highest number of h2b visa holder so based on research the states with the highest number of h2b visa holders are florida virginia texas colorado georgia and louisiana what documents do i need to take with me to a visa appointment okay so once you apply for the visa online then you should get a printout of the things that you need to take with you and you cannot set an appointment without an approved petition and a job offer letter so the things that you gonna need are like a printout of the ds160 that you filled out online you're gonna need the notice from the uscis showing the i-29 approval you're gonna need a valid passport one passport size photo if you have family members traveling with you then you're gonna need some documents showing that hey you guys are related documents such as a birth certificate or marriage certificates 
Okay, guys, so that's it for the question and answers. If you guys have any further questions, you can drop those in the comments and I will be sure to answer them in the next video. Please stick around for the employers that you guys can reach out to. And best of luck to you guys. Stay tuned for the employees. Here next.